Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you a tutorial for Scratch where we are going to make a simple game and I'm going to go over all the basics of what everything does. So as you can see right here, this right here is the game screen. This is where the game actually happens. This will start the game. This will start stop the game. This is what your game is shared, saved as. Down here, we have the sprites. This is your list of sprites. Sprites are basically the game objects in the game. They cannot be created or destroyed, but they can be cloned. In the sprite menu, you can create new sprites in multiple ways. If you come to this eye on the edge of the sprite, it'll bring up this, which is the sprite menu, where you can rename it, check out its position, its direction, change its rotation style, and do other settings. We, and then we have stages, which is basically the backdrop. And you can select new backdrops from here. Let's start off here. Today we are going to be making a simple game in which our cat chases the mouse pointer. So, when the flag is clicked, when this green flag clicked, it'll start the game and this little code block will trigger. So what do we want the mouse to do when he does that? Well, we want him to follow the mouse. We want him to follow the mouse forever until the red stop sign is clicked. So, on, it, on every single frame, this forever will trigger. So when the flag is clicked, we want him to point towards the mouse pointer. This will mean he'll set his direction in the direction of the mouse pointer. And as you can see that right now. It'll always be facing towards the mouse pointer. Now we want to make a move. So we use this. The move x steps. Now this will basically make him move a certain number of increments in the direction he's facing. Let's start off with 5. So now you can see that when we press the green flag, we have a fully functioning game. However, this is not all we want. Because he's turning upside down some when you go this way, and he still doesn't all that look all that good, I personally think. So let's go into here, and we can change his rotation, rotation style. If you have this arrow right here, then what he will do is he'll just rotate like you saw there. This this one that's just a dot means he will not rotate at all. His direction can still change, but the sprite himself will not rotate. This will make it so that the sprite will f the sprite costume will flip over will flip over when he goes in the other direction, but will not turn upside down, which is exactly what we want. You see, even though his, his direction is in this way, he's facing this way. If we start off, I think that's pretty good. But how is he moving? Right now it looks like he's just hovering. Let's make it so that he actually moves. But And there's a way we can do that. If we go into here, we have costumes. This is his other costume. We have two costumes. And with those two costumes, we can make him move. So when the flag is clicked, we're going to want to make another script. When flag clicked, forever, Wait. This will basically pause the specific script for a certain amount of time. You also have a wait until, which can check for a Boolean value and wait until that Boolean value is true. So let's make them wait 0 0.3 seconds. Then after those 0 0.3 seconds, we want them to switch to his next costume. And then it'll wait 0.3 more seconds and switch to the next costume again. That looks good to me. Always remember to save your work. And that's it for right now. Thanks for watching.